Do your rim joists look like this? A cold, leaky nightmare where bugs and cold air just pour in constantly, day after day, year after year? I'll show you how to air seal and insulate the rim joists with spray foam and foam insulation. To get started, you'll want to go around the rim joist in your basement and kind of dig out some of this stuff, uh, any penetrations that have just insulation shoved in them, because we're going to put spray foam in here. Uh, the insulation doesn't do a real good job of air sealing. So dig all that stuff out. What I like to do next is to go around and take the shop back and vacuum out all the cobwebs and the dust and the dirt so we can get a nice good air seal around the edges of the rim joist. Next, what I like to do is take some uh, high quality caulking. Here I have some 40-year uh, caulk and I like to run a bead around the edges of the rim joist as much as I can as a preliminary air seal be able to get in the places that I think maybe the foam won't get to as well. The tops and the bottoms of the rim joist are the most critical, but uh, you can do the whole thing if you have the extra time. Make sure you do a, a real uh, good job here. Play, pay close attention to detail because this air sealing part is one of the most important pieces. One thing you'll definitely need for this project is some sort of spray foam. Here I have a two foot spray foam gun. I think it's uh, maybe 30 inches. That's a professional gun. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive on Amazon. Also has a knob that you can adjust uh, to control the size of the bead. What I like to do is go around and pre-fill any apparent holes or cracks that are large before we install the foam insulation. Next, we need to cut some of our foam insulation. I found the easiest way to do this is on the miter saw. For each dimension, uh, say the height is nine inches, cut it eight and a half. So subtract uh, a half inch from each side. You want to leave a quarter of an inch all the way around for the spray foam. The next step is to fit each insulation piece in place. Make sure that you have a quarter inch gap all the way around the insulation for spray foam. Here I'm using R10 insulation, which is a two inch insulation. I'd probably recommend anything uh, with a thickness of uh, one inch or greater. And then we'll prepare for spray foaming around the edge of each insulation piece and seal it in. Now we're going to do what we came here to do, and that's to spray foam each piece in place. You want to be extra careful with this step and make sure you get spray foam, whether you're using a gun like this or a can, make sure you get spray foam in that quarter inch gap all the way around the foam with no gaps. It needs to be one continuous air seal. Go back and check and make sure that you've gotten every single little uh, spot with spray foam. One thing to pay close attention to is the corners. The corners are big sources of air leakage. You may need to pre-fill some of the gaps as you can see, I'm pre-filling a gap here before I fit the uh, foam board in. You want to be really meticulous about this. Every little nook and cranny needs to be air sealed or, or cold air will leak through. The last step in this is to cut pieces of fiberglass insulation to go on top of the pink foam board. An R13 probably should be plenty. 
And that is how you go about insulating and air sealing a rim joist. If you like this kind of content, like and, like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.